today I'm reviewing the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the link below. Okay, so Good Molecules has been, they've been pretty steady releasing new products. Not really ridiculously fast, but they've released a lot of eye products. Their initial wake up eye serum. I think that was one of their very first products. I wasn't totally crazy about it. They had the caffeine eye patches, which I thought were okay. But now they've come up with this. And I can say out of all of their eye products, this is hands down my favorite. Um, and out of eye products I've tried recently, this is a favorite. And probably in general, one of my favorite Good Molecules products. So, had to review it. Okay. So, they say... Revitalize and energize tired, puffy eyes with this soothing eye gel from Good Molecules. Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel is a rich Yerba Mate extract, a natural source of antioxidants and polyphenols that fight oxidative damage for brighter, more radiant skin. And I'll talk more about Yerba Mate uh, when we get to beneficial ingredients and all about what it does, what it's been used for, and things like that. So, Okay, my first criteria is packaging. They package it in a metal tube which is just fine with me I don't have any issues with it although sometimes I find these are a little tricky to store because they kind of cut into other I don't know whatever I just it's fine just fine no issues with it I do find when you squeeze it a little bit too much you get a little bit too much product out I guess that's what I don't like about them but they're they're okay in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol this does not contain any of those and it also has no fragrance and no noticeable scent. Although sometimes Yerba Mate gives things a bit of a herbal scent or herbal scent. But usually it takes much more of that specific ingredient to give things any of a noticeable scent. So this one really has no scent, which is great for the eye area. Manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. So ease of use. So I love the texture of this. It's like a gel. It's almost like a balm. Almost like a gel. And it smooths over skin so easily and soaks in so nicely that you can use this in your evening routine. You can also use it under makeup. I'm using this under my foundation right now. And I don't have any issues with it causing, uh, like, like settling into fine lines. I don't have any issues with it at all. So if you are a very dry eye area, the nice thing is you can use this during your daytime routine. It won't mess up your foundation at all. So look at how nice it just feels very silky, nice gel texture to it. Um, I recommend using it uh, under your eyes and around up by where your crow's feet have a tendency to be. I don't recommend using it over your eyelids or things like that. It does have a very, very small amount of caffeine, which can be slightly drying, but your eyelids can get dried out a lot faster than the rest of the skin around your eyes. So personally, I've just been applying it under and around and it seems to be doing a great job and I just love an eye cream that I can use during the daytime because my skin is so dry I typically am moisturizing the heck out of everything my poor neck got really dry I was walking the other day outside when it was like 10 degrees and snowing my poor neck is so the skin barrier is a little bit damaged I shouldn't have done that but I forgot my scarf that day and that was a mistake anyway otherwise ease of use very easy to, very easy absorbs quickly no pilling doesn't have any problems playing with other products. So super easy to use and very fun to use because of just how nice it feels. Sometimes there are products that are fun to use and this is one of them. Okay, let's get into beneficial ingredients and talk about that Yerba Mate. Okay, it's also called Ilex Paragonesis Leaf Extract. Uh, it's a tree shrub plant that has been used in the past as a beverage, like a tea drink in South America. And also more recently used in like um, energy drinks, uh, things like that. Used to drink a lot of energy drinks, not so much anymore. Um, it has a lot of good antioxidant skin soothing abilities. And now it's being more recently used in skincare products. You really haven't seen this much in skincare products up until like the last year or so. Um, used the people use it in some of their products. So um, just like tea has really good antioxidant effects, this Yerba Mate kind of is a relative somehow thereof. So it's got those similar antioxidant and skin soothing benefits. So it's also been used as, some people have used it as like medicine. I've read some studies, we're trying to use it as like an antacid type 
a heartburn med medicine, although that did not work so well, but um, sounds like it's a good topical as well as um, drinkable ingredient. So then we've got allotin, a good so skin soothing, wound healing and hydrating ingredient. We've got vitamin E, very good antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. Uh, sunflower seed oil, very good hydrating ingredient, also does a good job protecting the skin barrier. We've got hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant. Then we've got sodium hyaluronic, which is also a humectant. And then hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, which is the best of all those three, in my opinion. Hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid is a little bit better absorbed because it has a smaller molecule than typical hyaluronic acid. And I should mention, I lost the box to this, but what I love is Good Molecules now listed. They list every ingredient and the percentage of each ingredient. So you get to see every ingredient, no matter what it is, how much of it's in there. I love the fact that they did this. They're being more transparent instead of less transparent like some other brands are doing. So I think we should be going, moving more towards transparency. Tell us every ingredient. Tell us what percentage is in there. I wish all brands would do this or start doing this. We've got caffeine, which is an antioxidant. Um, there's some research showing it can be kind of beneficial for dark circles and puffiness, but not a whole lot of research that actually, it's more anecdotal that people think it helps with puffiness, although it can also be a little bit drying, although there's not a whole ton of caffeine in here. So small amounts can work as an antioxidant. Large amounts can just be too drying. Um, then we've got acetyl tetrapeptide 5, which is a cell communicating ingredient and hydrating ingredient. It's also called Isoril, a trade name for that. And studies have shown that that specific ingredient has been shown to reduce puffiness um, underneath eyes with uh, two months of continual use. So that's kind of exciting. The amount of that in here is low, but... Looks like there might be some real benefits to it, especially if you have puffy eyes. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this is vegan and cruelty-free, so that's awesome. Performance, so I found this really does a great job keeping my eye area hydrated. Um, even despite the rest of my face feeling dry, this really has helped a ton with dryness. Uh, it's helped a little bit with puffiness. I don't have too much of a problem with that. But I find it has also kind of plumped around where I normally have like fine lines that are noticeable. So they aren't as noticeable. I'm very impressed with this product. This really blew me away. Typically eye products, you know, you can just use a moisturizer and that's just fine. So I don't spend a ton of time, you know, really buying into a lot of the eye products. But this one blew me away. Very impressed with it. In terms of acneogenic ingredients, we only have two, and that is <clears throat> butylene glycol and vitamin E. So not much of an issue. The best part here, we get to the price. So this is the full size, which is half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and the retail price is $6. So that is a bargain. I don't know if they're going to follow the ELF uh, kind of marketing, where ELF Stara is really, really cheap. You know, Elf's getting more and more expensive, but you know what? Six bucks for this is a bargain. Then we get to the It Factor. I love this product. It made me very happy. I love an eye product that you can use daytime and nighttime without settling into fine lines or messing with your foundation. <clears throat> it's a bargain. It's affordable. It's fragrance-free. It's denatured alcohol-free. It's cruelty-free, and it's full of good ingredients. Love this stuff. So I gave it a 10 out of 10. I was very impressed with it. It's not easy to do, but they did it here. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are. So uh, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.